So when most runners want to get faster, they want to hit a PR or do whatever they, what it is in running that they want to do, they look to train harder, they look to run more, more miles, more long runs, more speed workouts to try to get faster. Today I want to show you three areas to target in your stretching so that you can get faster without having to do those things. Because let's face it, you either are going to be injury, more injured, injury prone or at risk for injury if you train harder. And sometimes you just don't have the time. Like you're giving it all, you have a life, you have a family. So training harder is not only the only option. So hi everyone, my name is Steve Geiser, physical therapist with Run Smart. For the last 10 years I've been helping people improve their running through run form training, etc. Um, today, again, three stretches, three areas to target with your stretches to run faster. And if you want to learn more, be sure to check out Need for Speed programs closing or the price is very quickly going up. Um, so if you want to join our four week run form bootcamp, you have to go to the link in this post or openmystride.com before the price goes up, uh, which is coming in a couple days and the 2021 program is closing in a couple weeks. So you need to get on that if you want to be a part of it. So let's look at a couple things here. Uh, I'm barefoot for whatever reason today, but uh, it is what it is. I'm probably identifying with a small niche of the running population. I'm just going to point this down a little bit. So when, when we see someone run and what the tendency for most people to do and what we teach how to break away from in, in uh, need for speed is that people don't pick their feet up. So they'll push off, they'll have a really low swinging foot and they'll come through and they never really get the feet to lift. Um, it's really important that you don't focus on a big heel lift but what we want to do is focus on that knee drive. And this is what we teach in, in Need for Speed. We talk about, talk about the figure four position and how to build the strength and flexibility around us. Today is all about the flexibility. So let's think about this for a second. When you want to run faster, you need to open your stride a bit. You need to go against conventional uh, wisdom or what you want to do, which is close down, fight for your life, and keep running. So let's just put ourselves in a nice open stride and let's just look at this for a second. Now, if you want to open your stride, you, you can just try to force it but you need to make, it's not going to really work because you're going to be working against resistance. I talked about earlier, it's like a rubbing brake. So your tightness in your, let's start here, hip flexor is like a rubbing brake. So if you want to run faster, open your stride to get there, you're going to need to be able to extend this hip. Too often runners are tight through the front, through the front of their hip, and they can't get this hip extension. So what does that mean? Let's choke it up a little bit and say you can't get past here. When you push off, you get a lot of up force with that because your hip can't extend through its full range of motion. And what the problem with that is, is because all that up is not driving you forward. Now let's look at a nice, strong hip extension. I get that leg really far back. And if I fire, see how I get a lot of forward push for my calf, my gluteal fire? And I've got a lot of motion going forward in my stride. So without that hip extension, it's really not gonna happen um, unless you really muster it up and try really hard, but chances are you're just going to do the Irish jig and you're not going to pick your feet up and you're going to be scuffing a lot. You want to open that stride. The next area we're going to talk about is the hamstrings because that's going to help the hamstrings and the hip flexors. The hamstrings and the hip flexors work together to open that stride. Again, if you are just joining us, Need for Speed is all about this. How do you open your stride? How do you get faster without having to run more miles and train harder? There is a link in this post. Price is going up or program is closing very, very soon. So if you want to get into that four-week boot camp, uh, make sure you check it out. So let's put ourselves back in that stride. We have here, and traditionally what would happen at this point is this foot wouldn't be on the ground yet. It's going to be here and it's going to be extending out. Now, a lot of my runners, especially the men, are so tight. They're like tin men. They, you know, you try to have them bend over, they're like, yep, that's it. Uh, we need to have good hamstring length on the opposite side of our hip, because when we extend this leg back, we're gonna need to be able to drive our front leg out to the front, not over stride, but drive it out. And you can see, I'm just gonna pause here for a second, we need to have the length to let that happen. Now, if your hamstrings are real tight, it's gonna choke you down, and you're not gonna be able to extend, and then you're gonna do one of these, and you have to put the foot to the, down, to the ground because that tightness is going to be pulling on behind the knee. It's impossible to open your stride and run faster if this isn't flexible and your hamstring on the front end isn't flexible. I've done videos on how to stretch those. We do it in need for speed. But those are a must-have. And again, if you're just joining me, this is all about running faster without having to run more miles and train hard because that only usually leads to injury and who has the time to just, you know, ramp their mileage up past where it's at. You're busy anyways. Targeting these areas can really help you run faster without doing those. Now, the final area that I want to teach you about and show you that if you can improve flexibility here, you can improve your speed, you can improve your running and get faster without training harder is the front of the thigh is the quad. 
So we talked about the end of our stride here. If we get a nice hip extension, it's going to power you forward. We talked about the front of the stride where the leg's going to swing through. And if without, if you have good hamstring length, it'll let you carry that stride further down the road. But the other piece of this is when the foot's off the ground, front of the thighs. Who, has here, who here has tight quads? Most runners do. So when this back leg leaves the ground, if you have good hip extension, the knee's gonna start to bend, right? And it's gonna have to bend and be able to pull through. The trouble is, is most people don't realize that one of your quad muscles attaches to your pelvis. So as this leg leaves the ground, if you don't have good flexibility in your quad, you're not gonna be able to get that carry and drive through the leg. So you're gonna be here, you're not gonna be able to get that leg to drive through and push yourself down the road. And the reason why is because your quad's too tight. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna push off and then you're gonna to have to swing it through really low, scuff the ground, shuffle, and do all the things that slow you down. So as a quick hitter, for those who are just, give me the brass tacks and the nuts and bolts of this thing, you need good hip flexibility so you can get that forward drive and you're not getting an up drive. You need good hamstring length in the front of the stride so that this leg can reach and allow yourself to carry. And you need good quad length so that when you pull this leg through and push it through, it allows the leg to fold and drive you. Without these things, it's very difficult to run faster without just like muscling it down the road. You know, you go out for a run, you just like, and you just try to power through. This, what we teach in Need for Speed, these stretches, what they do is they allow you to take a second and say, okay, I'm gonna run, I need, I need to dial it in here, and it allows you to open that stride back up versus closing it down and muscling through it. It's exactly what we're going to teach in Needs for Speed, four-week boot camp. It works into your training plans. It works into your running plans. It has lifetime access. It's four weeks with me teaching you how to make this stuff happen. So if you want to run faster, you want to do that all without training harder, adding more miles, be sure to check out the link in the post. Go to Open My Stride. If you don't even join us, this should help you. Stretch your quads, stretch your hams, and your hip flexors, and that alone can get you faster without having to run harder or more miles. All right, everyone, have a great day. Hope this helps, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I hope that I can see you join us in Need for Speed. All right, everyone, have a great day. Bye.